80 miles northeast on the Barbara J. Jack had to go take care of some family business, so they dust me off and pull me off the shelf, and here I am. Now the pressure is building. So it looks like the quota is going to be caught up by about Wednesday morning. With his co-captain, Jack Bennell, heading home for the memorial of a lifelong friend, skipper Steve Harley Davidson turns his sights to a 30-pot string, eager to catch their share of the 12 million pound Grey Cod Derby. They're trying to maximize our production here, so hopefully our numbers pick up. Jack set this stuff. Let's see what we're gonna get here. This is pulling up to the first one. All right, guys, first spot coming up. Here we go. Coming up over the rail. Come on. I see fish. Oh, I just see a few. You'd expect the damn thing to be half full. Huh. Have to do something different here. Harley, what's going on, man? They got out here. I found, I found the damn pots. I mean, after sitting there for like two and a half days, I think I'd have more fish in them than this. Well, who's in the area there? I seen the saga go by earlier. You should give Jake a call. He already knows. Really? Why would we call him? That didn't work out. Hey, Harley. I still don't understand why you bring that guy in your wheelhouse. I played you like a fiddle, boy. I knew you were there. You are still the worst skipper out here. I see him, right? He's just like three miles off my port side here. Let me try him. Let me give him a call and see what the is going on. He just fish the way you're going to fish, and I'll get a hold of Jake. Yeah, OK. I'll be uh, standing by. Keep me posted, OK? Just three miles west. <laughs> on the soccer. How many is in that? What I need to do is I need to look north and south. I've lost the scent. If I don't come in with a big offload right now, I'm starting Bear Eye in the Red. Aiming for two deliveries before the Cod Derby ends. Captain Jake Anderson hauls and stacks all 100 pots, scrambling to find productive grounds and keep hopes of a million pound cod season alive. There's nothing to the east or west. And these numbers aren't going to suffice. Damn it. Hey, Jake. How are you guys doing? Hey, I'm uh, just ripping through gear. Yeah, roger that. I don't want to waste your time, but, you know, I had a really good friend, basically my my brother, passed away. And uh, I'm heading home right now to go speak at his service. The guys on the boat, they're all in a pinch. If there's any info you can share, the guys would really appreciate it. I mean, you're putting me in a tight spot. Hi, right, man. Thanks for the time. Thanks for considering it. Talk to you later. All right, later, Jack. <sighs> I just, uh... Yeah. It's frustrating for me because 
I know I could stab Jack in the back right now. He's vulnerable. Some of me wants to. Not good. But still have to move all this gear and figure out where these fish are. 160 miles northwest. On the Wizard. The rougher it gets, the harder it gets to find your gear just because they're hiding behind the wave and the next wave and the next wave. Captain Keith Colburn fights through 50 knot winds and 25 foot seas, looking to make a dent in his 91,000 pounds of quota before the Cod Derby fleet switches to paradise season and heads his way. I don't know if we can even haul this gear anymore. The weather's gone to hell on us. If I get the string, we'll get our it's almost 60 pots rebated, reloaded. It should be coming up any second now. I should be able to see it. Ugh, I gotta clean those things. Damn it. All right. Oh, you got it, OJ? Yeah! Right on, Eagle. Good job, Eagle. This guy's the best size in the Bering Sea. They're a little skewed, but OJ has the best eyes in the Bering Sea. The weather's pretty crazy, man. It's gnarly out here, man. You go find something heavy and put it in your pockets. We don't want you blowing away. You need some weight in your pockets. <laughs> Three forty-five. So it's got forty-eight hours. Yeah, I didn't pick you up that last time. All right, good job, guys. Stay safe. Stack it up, Raj, and then let's uh, see if we can get them one at a time. Okay. Roger. I'd like to get this string rebated, but if we can't, well, so be it. I'm turning a little bit to starboard to grab the pot. Now I got to pull back to port. I gotta keep the weather on the bow as long as I can and let the weather push me down to the next spot. Watch yourself there, Robbie. Come right behind you. Right behind you. 